up? How are you doing? In today's video, I am going to be demoing newest brushes by Refer. They're going to release a holiday set and I am very, very excited to show you each individual brush, how I like to use it to achieve my full face of makeup. And they're also releasing acrylic organizers for your vanity. So this is a holiday release for Refer. I am very excited. I cannot wait to show you. If this is the first time passing by Auntie G, I love to review the newest and latest makeup releases. If you love that content, go ahead and click on the red button that says subscribe and also come to my Instagram because over there we do keep it really fun and interactive and without further ado, let's start. Alrighty friends, so as mentioned, this is gonna be Refer's holiday release and by the time I post this video, I should have a lot more information that I do today when I'm filming. So if I do, I'm gonna post info up here and I'm gonna have links below if you're interested in this release. And just in case you don't know what Refer is, there are a brush company, they handcraft their brushes in Japan and they're all made with natural hair brushes. I've used their brushes for over two years and oh my goodness, they are so, so good. Good. they're highly quality brushes they all look so so pretty and they're the softest um, natural hair brushes that I own some of the softest ones these are some of my favorite brushes from the line their existing line I love their refer 22 I always talk about this brush because this is a beautiful for bronzing I wash them for you guys so you can see them nice and clean this is number 19 which is a tapered um, brush I use it to set underneath my eyes. Underline, they have a matte handle brushes and they also have like a glossy finish. All the ones that I love are in the matte handles. This is my favorite in my opinion. They're very, very steady. They wash super well. These I had for over two years and no staining whatsoever. They shred little, little hair. And yeah, these two are must-haves um, when it comes to face brushes. When it comes to eye brushes, I have another video where I describe what I use you know these brushes for but I am going to pick like my top top ones um, at the moment so that you can have an idea of um, what I use the most so let's begin with number 13 and 14 I have here 14 and number 13 is here so these are them these are mainly for people with hooded eyes or like really um, small eyes 13 is smaller than 14, but I love these ones, you guys. I always talk about them because I feel like they're amazing for the outer V to apply and really smoke out, you know, that outer V space. So these two, I always have to have here. I have uh, two of each because if one is dirty, I use the other one. So these are like my fave blending brush. Um, they do have bigger ones you know so uh but that's the ones that i love the most then we have a number 21 and this is a mix of natural and synthetic hair brushes this is what this guy looks like i love this brush you guys to pack my eyeshadow um this is all i use i like the shape of it so it gets really precise up here when i want to apply you know and really open up my eyes so i feel like this brush is a must have also from their line if you're looking for you know a packing brush i also love one of the newer ones which is number 28. This is for, I use it to apply eyeshadow. I like to wet this brush and really pack on because it is so tiny, it's gonna get very precise as well. So if you can get your hands on this because this is very popular, I feel like 28 is also a very good option for you. Um, I also love O3, which is this little guy. Um, I love it to pack eyeshadow in you know my lower lash line another one of their newer ones for eyeliner look how tiny this brush is this is 29 this is gonna make your lives so so easy if you aren't you know an expert on eyeliner and especially if you're like me and you like to apply eyeshadow as a liner this makes it so so precise and easy I love love this newer brush by them and last but not least I also wanted to mention 26 this is also one of their newer brushes this is a pointy 
brush but you guys this is so so nice for detail work i use it to pack in my outer v i use it of course to like smoke on my lower lash line and all that good stuff so these brushes are all so so good i wouldn't recommend them if i didn't truly believe in the quality of them as i mentioned i had them for over two years minimal shirting so so easy to clean my affiliate link is gonna be in the description box if you do want to purchase from my link i do make a small commission but i do thank you in advance so now let's move on to the holiday release and i do apologize i got too excited talking about the other brushes this is what it would look like when you receive them i really like how minimalistic their packaging is you're not gonna get a ton of waste inside this packaging it will come in this clear sleeve and at the bottom you can see the reference number with the Japanese sort of like symbol that you can see that your brushes are legit these are the three brushes included in the bundle you can see that we have a powder brush we have a foundation brush and then we got a tiny brush the foundation brush is sort of like a dual fiber it has a longer hairs and a shorter hairs and then we get the powder brush and the little guy which is also in an angled So that's what they look like freshly out of the package. And um, so as I was saying, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it now, but the foundation brush, which was the first one that I used, has shorter hairs and then longer hairs. I really, really enjoyed applying my foundation with this one. I use my Valentino foundation. And sometimes brushes, like natural hair brushes, tend to pick up and just drink a lot of the product. But I didn't feel like this one did this. It is very, very packed and it is so so nice for my foundation application I loved it it gave me a beautiful and flawless application it didn't look streaky it just looked perfectly even as you can see and I really really like it um, I don't feel like these drank a lot of my foundation I felt like all the product just stay you know at the top of the brush which I appreciated I don't know if you can see here um, it's not really going inside <laughs> I don't know if I can show you but it's truly just at the top of the foundation brush which I really appreciate sometimes the, these kind of brushes will drink a lot of your foundation but I don't feel like this one did this it really kept the coverage of the foundation and it just spread it out very very evenly and beautifully so I enjoyed 31 for my foundation Next up we have 32 which is the one that I used to apply my concealer you can see that it dispersed at the concealer well but it's just a very very little if I'm being completely honest I don't know if I really love these for my concealer I think like it just takes too much time because it is so so small you can totally find many many uses for this kind of brush because it is angled it's gonna um, you know let you do some other things with your makeup which we'll talk about in a minute I did wanted to show you the Jumbo concealer brush by Sonia against this so this is even smaller and when I reviewed this one by Sonia G I said I didn't care for it because it was so small so could you imagine this is just a very very little I could totally repurpose this brush and I'm gonna tell you how I like to use it but for concealer it was not my choice I wouldn't to be completely honest use it for that reason but moving on to number 30 it is the powder brush this brush is a beautiful it is so so soft it is extremely soft you can see that it applies the powder very very evenly I had no issues I used only this brush for you know all over my face I hate to use multiple brushes for multiple reasons especially if I'm rushing so I felt like these to set underneath my eyes was completely okay and then of course to do a light dusting of powder this is a very very soft but it's not gonna apply a lot of products so keep that in mind it's not gonna be um really dense brush this is very very 
just as I said, just not super dense. It's gonna just give you a little bit of product, a little bit of powder. If you do wanna build up the powder, you can always, you know, just build it up. I could totally see myself using this brush for a powder foundation, like the one from Fenty, or you can see that I also use it for my bronzer. So here I went ahead with my Goa bronzer, which is very, very pigmented from Shandakai. If you have fair skin and you have this bronzer and you find that it is too pigmented, I feel like a brush like this will help you, you know, not apply too much of that bronzer. I had to do a little bit of building up, you can see, but I didn't mind. I feel like it is very natural. I still wanted to show you how multi-purpose this brush could be. Um, and Even though I would not use these to bronze, to be honest, because I have to do a lot of building up, I still wanted to show you what it would look like. I feel like my choice would be setting powder powder foundation and then blush. I did went ahead and applied my blush with this one and it applied very, very beautiful, super, super natural, no complaints. I used the Patrick Ta Duo, which is extremely pigmented. I also went ahead and used a brush 3D1, which is the foundation brush for the cream product in the Patrick Ta Compact. I felt like I really wanted to show you what it would look like and it's just perfect. It is very, very densely packed. So keep that in mind. If you're not one that like to apply foundation with a brush, then you can totally use these for contour, you know, like cream contour or cream blush. Last but not least, I did want to share how I like to use number 32. So you can see that I apply my Big Mario Eye Primer. I think this is an amazing brush to do that. It is very small and because I have small eyes, this is going to be perfect to blend that primer and then just set it. I also went ahead and used it to contour my nose. Because it is angled, it is very nice to get really precise it is a little bit packed so you have to be really careful so you could totally use at least a brush to contour as i did i would next time use something lighter so nothing so so pigmented like they go out i would use my charlotte uh, bronzer in medium and get really really precise but this was nice to do that so for contour and to prime my eyes so next up refer is going to have modular vanity uh, organizers and and this is what the box looks like when you receive it. It is very compact. Um, you can see that this is what this component looks like. They have multiple, multiple components and they all stick together because they're magnetized. So let me show you the different ones that they're going to be offering. So in this little sheet of paper, and excuse me, it's a little bit bended, we're going to have a component A, which is the top one that's what it would look like then we have a component B component C component D a component E so let's begin with component 8 I do not have prices on any of these products but again I should have more info when I post this video this is component A you're gonna get two of these deep dark acrylic organizers and did you hear that beautiful noise so this is how they will click together. It has a little magnets. We get four. So you can, you know, put them in different directions. So this is how they will hold up. You can see they're completely magnetized. And if you sit them up in your vanity, they're not gonna move. Component B comes in something like this and it's called lips and sticks. And look at this for a lipstick holder. So it will hold one, two, three, nine lipsticks. And then again, you can mix and match with the one that you like and then have them up here sitting in your vanity. I this is the first one that I would show you. This is component C, has a shore, and then it grows from here. And I wanted to show you how it would magnetize with the two component A if you put them side by side on your vanity. So you have to find the magnet that is gonna really, you know, hold them together. They're sitting on the vanity, they're not gonna move, but here it's a little bit awkward, but I did wanted to show you. So this is one of the A and one of the component C um, magnetized to each other. This is a beautiful, beautiful system. You can buy as many as you need, as many as the square one, 
as you need and you know try to organize your vanity I'm gonna try to stick them all together and do a little video at the end and I'll show you what it would look like you know maybe with a little bit of organization and whatnot but This is gonna make someone's life very, very easy. I don't have organization back there, but I do have another vanity down here, which is where I'm most likely going to displace this beautiful modular system by Refer. But yeah, if you have any questions, you guys, just drop them down below. I'll try to get to you. I'll try to, you know, contact Refer and then get all the answers that you need. But so far, this is what I know. This is what the modular system looks like, and I am so so excited you guys so that's all i've got for today's video my affiliate link will be below i'm gonna link it for you it'll take you right to their concept store where you can find all the products that i talked about in today's video uh, let me know what do you think of this release are you excited for the brush set are you excited for the vanity set what are your thoughts on these two releases by refer have you tried their brushes any comments anything at all just leave it below thanks so much you guys for your love and support do not forget to share like and subscribe and I'll catch you next time. Bye!